so surplus short bus these things die much easier but i'm just going to leave my guy to deal with that while i go and drop off whatever it is that i picked up here Ooh, there we go there we go die 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 death to the short bus indeed we have no equal opportunities here folks the contents of the short bus will be obliterated it's for the glory of mankind trust me that is interesting. That looks like a, a different sized target, as far as I can tell. Have a look at... What's the tactic screen again? F2. Yes, there we go. What is it? Can I ident identify it? Mm, evidently not. Oh, it's also got band boxing. Well, that makes things easier. There you go. <laughs> I was going to say, do you really have to go through the whole select all thing? Oh, no, you don't. You can just drag. No problem. Oh, God. This, this thing looks unpleasant. This thing actually has a gun on it. Yeah. And it's small, which makes it really hard for me to actually freaking hit it. Come on. That is a scout. Right. Oh, and it has missiles, too, just to make matters even worse. You know, I'd probably have more luck luring it in the direction of an explosive barrel. Those things seem to have massive blast radius. He's just running away now. I'm very upset by this. Come on. You know you want to die. It's a kind of auto-tracking system. Either that or I need to switch over to missiles. Missiles, the scrub weapon. Can't shoot? Don't worry. We have auto-lock-on systems just for you. I can imagine it being marketed that way as well. Now, you're a busy housewife in space. You don't have time to aim. I'm a casual space pilot. Indeed, just give me all my epics, my space epics right now. Just, I'm just going to let the AI guy deal with this while I take another drink. Mm. You know, my shields are not in a good state right now, are they? That's something I should, probably should be concerned about. God, my AI guy can't even hit him either. Come on! Did he just blow a chunk off of my ship? I think he might have. It's a weird, very weird space chatter in the background. Again, you know, all of the sound is actually incomplete in this game as far as I'm aware. It's not all put in yet. I, I kind of like it. I think it just could get a little bit repetitive. The music's very ambient. I think maybe in battles like this, I assume they're probably doing this anyway. He blew up my ship? Why will you not die? Why is this? What is it that I need to do to you in order to kill you? Do I need to refit with a weapon I can actually aim? Apparently. All right, I think his shields are actually going down now. That's a good thing. Come on, I have no power to shoot with. He, he's kicking my ass again, isn't he? Right, I'm refitting the ship. Which one is it? This one, yes. Refitting the ship that I'm currently using with a weapon that I can actually aim properly. More like the beam emitter. There we go. Refit. Let's see what refitting in the middle of combat actually does. Okay, he's going to ignore my dude entirely. I'm fine with that because I can switch over to the other guy. Going with a little bit of close range combat. There we go. Die, die, die. Why will you not die? Right, okay, I have beams now. I should be able to hit him with this, I hope. Let's find out. There we go. Y yeah, that's it. See? Freaking pulse cannons. Too hard. Clearly too hard. I'm not ready for such mighty weapons as of yet. I haven't passed my space pilot's test. Will you quit blowing up my stuff? This one guy must have blown up an entire fleet's worth of dudes. He's supposed to be some kind of rogue civilian. I beg to freaking differ. There you go. Thank you very much. And we are reverse engineering the scout. At least we are on a small basis. Hey, you can shoot the beacon. I wonder if that is actually a problem. Very well could be. Please die. There we go. Scout is now available. Fantastic. Let's see if we can build it. Right. Change hull. That is the scout. What is it like in comparison to the other one? Right, I'm just having a look at it. So, you've got your comparative thing going on here, as you can see. I assume that basically everything about it... Actually, no, I don't think that is comparative. It would be nice if it was. As I'm looking at this right here, and I'm saying, hey, you know, mood of ability and stuff like that. But I'm having to keep going in between the two. It would be nice if it told me, in comparison to the other ship, exactly how good it was. Like, you know, the speed is slower, but it's got more hull strength or something like that. Missiles and torpedoes are smart weapons. Yes, indeed. Stuff that I can probably aim. And indeed, by aim, I mean just let it do it itself. Missiles and... You know, what are the differences? All right. Okay. Torpedoes have minor course correctional capabilities. Used against slow-moving targets. Well, we're not fighting those, so let's go and do that. 
And we'll take a small surplus beam emitter right here. That would make sense. And there we go. I'm gonna refit the ship. So I think this thing's a little bit tougher. Compared to how many hits it could take in comparison to mine, I assume it has to be. But you never know. They could just be Haxon. Now, I've left my ship to refit in the middle of a fight again, which is probably not a very good idea. Will you stop shooting the missiles at me, please? It would be so much appreciated. Right. There we go. Right, my scout ship is available. Fantastic. We can try out the missile. Now, this only has a single beam emitter, but it does have smart weapons, which is what I'm more concerned about. Fire the missiles! <laughs> very odd smart weapons. They're like they're drunk. It you know, there used to be a lot of like sort of robot constructing games where drunk missile launcher was something that was used as a real sci-fi military term, simply based on the fact that the missiles looked like they were drunk when they were sort of staggering, staggering around out of the place. Right, is that locking on from that direction? Yes, it is. There we go. Still having trouble actually catching up with this dude. There we go. Very cool. Now... I know some of you are probably wondering, well, you know, does this game have multiplayer? Well, the demo certainly doesn't. I don't really know whether or not the actual game plans to have it, but you can go check out the website. I've put it in the description below this video if you want to know more. Okay, that guy's a little bigger than the previous dude, isn't he? Right, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly concerned about this guy. Let's see if we can bring him down. At least he's a little bigger, so he's a little bit easier to hit. That's always good. He doesn't seem to be falling apart, but it's okay because space debris is spreading all over the place. I love that, by the way. I, I really, really do. Great effect. Absolutely fantastic. Use of particle effects in this game is very impressive for an indie title. And I still don't think that the ambient music really sort of helps the situation at the moment, but hey, we're good. We'll, we'll go with it. Let's deal with the rest of these guys without a problem. Go, come on, death to you. It's what we want. It's what we need. And pop. Fantastic. Oh, and I do have upgrade points. And I can also now fly a hatchet. We'll go and have a look at that. Learning an awful lot of different ship types here. One assumes that this is absolutely deliberate. And I'm running rapidly out of res, but I'll gain a bunch when I actually finish this. So let's have a look at research while we're on. Cloak. Hull. What does that do? Gives you extra health. That might be handy. I only get one level in that. There we go. Now, we wanted to buy some other armor as well, I think. And I think you need that to be at level 2, which I can't really afford right now. But we'll pop one in there anyway. And we'll pop one in the shields. Fantastic. Spread it out just a little bit. Obviously, I would imagine it takes quite some time to reach level 10 in everything, and it would appear that they do get extremely advanced as you go up there in terms of the stat upgrades they give you. Right. Do I have enough to swap out for that other hull? Let's go and have a look. Thank you. Oh, it turns out that's a small hull. Right. That's kind of a big deal, because that's my first small hull. Something that I did not have previously. It has more guns on it has more slots on it. It seems to be, at least in terms of everything, pretty much better than everything I've got here with the exception of maneuverability. And it also costs significantly more to manufacture one of these things. I can refit my current ship into one, though, so I'm not too concerned about that. Can we at least get some decent guns on this thing? There we go. And what is that? Is that a, is that a mining laser? No, it's a scanner. Huh, tractor beam. Right. Neat. And you can put armor plates on these things. Maybe that's just because I just researched armor. I don't know. Or maybe it's just because it's a bigger ship. We'll have a look at that in a second. Medium tractor beams. Tow small objects and medium scanner. Okay. Well, we'll grab a tractor beam for the time being. And we'll refit that one. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at this. Can I get armor plating on this? No. Apparently I cannot. Looks like you can only get armor plating on the larger ships. Kind of makes sense. Right. Hopefully this is enjoyable for you guys, sort of discovering this game as I go along. You can probably tell I'm a little bit tired today. I actually got up very early this morning to do some casting, which ended up being a complete disaster. Tournament issues with the organization and things. It's kind of unpleasant, but there you go. Right, we have a much larger ship now. I have every intention of flying it and owning some noobs. 
Hopefully it has a larger capacitor as well, we'll find out. Significantly less maneuverable. It really doesn't have a larger capacitor at all, does it? Uh, I do have a tractor beam, but I don't think that's really helpful in any way, shape, or form at this point. But I do have a large cargo capacity, which will be useful. There we go. Absolutely fantastic. Dealt with. Pick up everything that is available. This whole crew count thing is kind of weird. I'm still trying to... F what the? Did I just dump a bunch of dudes in space? Apparently I did. There you go. <laughs> That was a little bit odd, but okay, I'll go with it. Right, so that's been dealt with. I guess we are going all the way back. Well, that's where the next mission is. But I'll go back to the mining base in the meantime, see if there's anything worth having. And that's where the mothership is currently hiding out. I imagine it's completely balked right now. Let's deploy. Go do a little bit of docking. See exactly what's going on. This is an intriguing game. I have a feeling this game probably would have a lot of longevity. It certainly seems to. There is a, you, know, you might wonder why the whole space pirates and zombies thing is going on. Because apparently there's sort of like an infestation in the galaxy of zombie ships. And there's an element to the metagame whereby eliminating those and sort of limiting the spread is very important. Zombies are not enabled in this demo because apparently if they were, they would overtake the entire galaxy and I wouldn't have the tech to deal with it. So there you go. Neat nonetheless. Right. Black market items. Can I get anything? New shield, maybe? Yep, sounds good. Yeah, we can do that. What was the other one? It was new armor plating, wasn't it? Okay. we get new shield. For the time being. There we go. Right, we have more missions. Do we not? The answer is yes, yes we do. We could do with... Actually, we could probably get both, couldn't we? If I can at least find some resources to steal. There we go. Grab some. Got plenty of cargo capacity on the ship, so I'm not too worried. A tractor beam. How does that even work, anyway? Oh, there we go. Aha! Nice! Okay. That's neat. I like that a lot. So, yeah, you just hold the right button, it'll bring it straight to you, so I assume on larger mining ships it's fairly important that you use something along those lines. Much more capacity. Very important. Not really sure exactly how much capacity I'm currently carrying. I'm looking on the UI to try and find that out. Is it under res? I don't think so, because I think, isn't that the amount that I had beforehand? Let's find out. We'll find out as we dock this. This thing is not very quick, though. Not at all. There we go. Yeah, you see that? That's all it does at the top. I don't see anything on the UI immediately obvious, maybe you guys do, that actually indicates what my current cargo capacity is. That's something that I think could probably be added. Slow ship is slow. There we go. Get a little bit of speed going. Actually, dock here and we'll grab the other blueprint. Will you stop that bloody thing shooting at me? Let's see. There we go. Grab the last item. Except level 2 armor plating. And we're pretty much done here. So... Now that they've completely screwed up pretty much everything I have. I'll probably do with grabbing everything that's around here as well, just to get a few extra resources. God, my ship is so slow. I'm going to go and have a quick look at the hangar, see if there's anything we can upgrade in it. So we can get level 2 shield, but we... Ha ah, right, okay, yeah, research level. Did I unlock the armor plates? I don't think I did, did I? But cool. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Right O. Right O. You can also view all black box data. Ooh, these are cool. Look at these. Big ships. Huge ships. Way out of our reach at the moment, but very neat nonetheless. Always nice to have goals to shoot for, I found. That was always my thing with X. As well, it involved like, oh, you know, I want this really, really big ship. And then I worked towards that and said, oh, I want a bigger ship. And, you know, that kept me playing for hundreds upon hundreds of hours. It was a very compelling reason. Like I said, this ship moves so freaking slowly. Maybe it's just because of the damage that's been done to me. I don't know. There's a possibility. Anyway. Have a look at the star map once we've dropped all of this stuff off of here. Come on. 
I just want to keep an eye on the UI and see if it ever actually indicates when I come and drop this in right here. Let's go and have a look. Do, 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 do. Keep an eye on that UI. Mm, not seeing anything obvious, no. So there you go. Intriguing. Yeah, that might be something that's worth adding then, unless I'm missing something blindingly, blindingly obvious. So blindingly that I can't actually see it. That's why it's called blindingly, folks. Right, right. Well, we are going on to Uranus. Use a mass retreat command to run the hell away. Always a good idea. Don't die. Very good, very good. Happy with that advice. Very useful. Now, my bigger ship, I think, is, is much tougher. Although it does lack in various different departments, including the ability to move at a reasonable pace and the ability to have any freaking missiles. Also, it I can't catch up with these ships. I think that's probably the worst thing about it. The point where I might actually just switch over to the scout and I'll kill it with that instead. There we go. Did I refit this thing with a missile launcher? There we go. Yes, it does have one. Okay, cool. Now, hopefully... The AI can deal with that, and I'll stay in the faster ship and take him apart. Oh, yeah. Again, the explosions of this are absolutely fantastic and very important that explosions in space games are of high quality, because if they are not, then that's probably the absolute worst thing that could possibly ever happen in your space game. That's where the enemy is, so we're both going to go there, I think. Select all ships. This one will take about five years to get there even though it could make the castle run in less than 12 parsecs. Parsecs, we know, is not a measure of time. But I've always been confused by that. Yes, I'll, I'll just leave that to you. I think I'm also running out of shields fairly rapidly, so something does need to be done about that. Get over here. You know you want to. Seriously, just fire the missiles, it'll be fine. That was my plan anyway. Did, did that just bounce off him? Because that kind of sucks. It's like, that's the best weapon I have accessible to me. And it just bounces off the enemy. Come on. Get over here. I have a feeling maybe at the low levels, the combat does take a little bit too long. And also, you're dealing with sort of one ship at a time. Maybe just because it's a, a sort of basic tutorial set. But I feel that dealing with one ship at a time is quite dull. And also that the time that it takes to actually kill the ships with these basic weapons is a little excessive. I mean, perhaps maybe they could throw more than one ship at you. Bearing in mind, I have more than one ship of my own, so it's only fair. And make the ships slightly less durable, so it feels like you are actually actively shooting your way through a bunch of enemies. As opposed to what we're doing right now, which is two of us gang up on this single ship. Most of us can't actually hit it because we're terrible shots with everything other than the guided weapons. And sort of whittling it down. You know, that works for grand space combat games, you know, the kind of tall ships in space style thing. We're basically talking Star Trek here. But for fighter combat, which is what this basically is, I do feel that they do last a little too long, at least at the start of the game. I'm sure you get much more destructive things, and I'm sure you do get to fight all sorts of crazy nonsense later on in the game. But right now, with the way that it currently is, it, I do view it as problematic. Right. Let's take a shot, shall we? See what we can do here. Oh yes, you will die horribly. Thankfully, your lasers are terrible, and mine are... Wait a minute, mine are also terrible. It's okay, I, I, I get the advantage of being the player, right? No, actually, I think I might be on fire, so possibly not. Now, shields, bear in mind, apparently do recharge, as far as I can tell, and I assume they charge while you're not being shot into tiny little pieces in space. That does help. You know what would be kind of nice? If it didn't have flashing lights all over my ship so you could see me. Like, hey, come shoot at me! I'll make it really nice and obvious for you. Enjoy this heat trail with your heat-seeking whatever the hell. Right, come on. Come and die. I need you for the mission, damn it. Do you not understand this? Right, is it shields finally down? Yes, it would appear to be so. Missiles do have a charge time. As regards to the health, you can actually see that in the corner right there. There we go. That's another one down. Another one bites the dust. Put lock onto that. Kill it as quickly as possible. Try and take the shields out. Again, the shields do recharge. Oh, he's, he's so close to this. I, I don't want to shoot it because I have a feeling I'll blow up everything I own, which is never the best way to do things. I don't know. I mean, there are some games where that's okay, making everything explode, like DC Universe, for instance. It works very well there, but in this case, not so much. Come on. Get over here. Why would you run away? Seriously, why would you make my job more difficult? It's almost as if you don't want to die or something. I cannot imagine why. Oh, it's okay. That handily picks up everything for me. 
yeah, like I said, missions like this, I do feel they lack pacing. I, I'm basically doing the same thing over and over again to one enemy. I think that that does have to be dealt with. And like I said, you know, the developer did ask for feedback, so I'm giving feedback right now. This mission does not excite me, I mean, especially in comparison to the fact that it's the same as last, you know, the last one we did. So I would honestly attest that something like this would need to be sped up, given more pace, or indeed at least given more than one ship spawning at any given time. That is something fairly vital. I've got the tactic screen. Okay, the dude we're going to shoot is all the way over here. It'll take a little bit of time to get over there. And this is a new ship type by the looks of it. And it has pulse cannons. It's okay. Is it as bad at aiming pulse cannons as I am? More to the point. This one seems to be fairly durable. Let's see if we can shatter its shield. This one actually has armor plating on it as well, which is definitely not helping matters. Come on, die. You know you want to. Come on. It's all right. It's almost dead. Come on. Seriously. I want your stuff. Why will you not give it to me? You guys are so uncooperative, I tell you. There we go. We are now reverse engineering that particular ship type, and that's good because it seems to be pretty goddamn tough. Now, bear in mind, directional armor plating as well, as far as I can tell. I don't think the shield's are directional. I think the armor is. So we can sort of experiment with that once we wear the shields on this thing down. There we go. Am I seeing armor being reduced? On that, mm, don't seem to be. It seems to be sort of all over the place, but then again, my aiming is all over the place, so that maybe is why. I don't know if it's directional armor plating, honestly. It looks like it sort of is. Cool, a level up once again. Now, I believe, now that we have those shields, we might want to have a look in, see what we can do with that. Head over the research. Reactors at level 2. We got armor to level 2, didn't we? Yeah, oh, we didn't, actually. We do need to. There we go. Upgrade requires use medium armor. I could put a tech in turrets. Turrets might be good. Yeah, let's go grab one of those. Why not? I don't know if this will let me unlock any kind of turret. I assume the larger ships can probably equip those things. Now, can I refit with better armor plating? One assumes that I can, and we can give that a try. There we go. Bear in mind, if you're not seeing the mouse on the Fraps recording, I don't recall if I actually turned that off or on. That's just because I've actually got it hidden in the Fraps. It is still there, and this is all mouse-driven, as well as keyboard. Okay, armor plates. Yes, we can indeed upgrade the hell out of this thing. Good, that means I will not die as much. Always really handy to do. Switch over to my little scout in the meantime. To try and deal with this thing. Again, you know, these fights are taking longer than I would like. It's at least something to have a look at. And it's always nice to be able to access a pre-alpha and say this kind of thing to them. It's like, hey, you know, great ideas, but, you know, there are a couple of issues. You know, well, let's go and have a look at this and see exactly what's going on. I mean, as, as regards to the complexity of the game, I think it is actually deceptively complex. They've done a very good job of hiding most of the complexity under some good UI features. I think a lot of games like this do have a very significant amount of problems with designing a UI that actually works. Okay. Fantastic. I think we are done here. Wonderful. Which means I imagine we can get the mothership going, which I imagine we can also move on to the next star. I would think that that's what it's for. The idea that there's like 200 stars in this is crazy. My ship's obsolete again. How is my ship obsolete? Can I even change it for anything? No, I can't. It's a liar. It's a liar and a thief. Oh, it's probably because I picked up a little part for a grasshopper, but the problem is I don't have all of the black box research that I need to do anything with it yet. Whatever the case, folks, we are warping within the system. Yes, we are. Apparently, we're heading back to Earth. This is where our mothership is hanging around. Hopefully get it going again. Awesome. You know, I wouldn't really call my ship clockwork. I don't really trust that. Also, we appear to have Space Michael Jackson in the background there, as well as Space Gordon Freeman, and I, I don't even know who the guy at the front is. What, that Space Viking? I, I have no idea. He terrifies me, though. No question. Okay. Excellent. All right, I would like to know what this mothership is actually capable of doing. 
Hmm. Cool, we can build bigger stuff. There you go, fantastic. Much bigger. Right, so we can maybe do things with this. I'd actually want to look and see, do we have a large hull that we can use? Right, so this is my large hangar. Mm, short answer is no, we haven't researched any of this stuff. So we really have to kill it first, but there is something new that we do have. Ooh, where was that? Where was that? Where was that? Oh, yes, that's under small holes. Yes, the boomerang, of course. How was that in comparison to the other one, more at the point? Very maneuverable. Whole mass. That's why the hatchet's really, really slow. Oh, okay, I see. Right, so if I wanted to switch that out to something a little bit easier, and we can go with this. Put beam emitters on it, because I'm a terrible shot, as we're well aware. Armor plating is good. So we'll do a little bit of a refit on that one. Now, this one, this is a small hangar now, so I can actually change this tiny ship to a small ship. So I'm going to change this one out, and I'm going to make this a mining vessel, effectively. And that's going to be a mining, slow, stonking mining vessel. And this one, well, we want something really nice and fast, maybe. Hmm. Well, we, we can build another scout, I guess. Give it a missile, and maybe give it a pulse cannon. Set it to auto rebuild, so if it gets blown up, we can build it up again. Great. Fantastic. Right. Well, let's go and have a look at the system map then, shall we? Killing friendly ships. Right, so there is a faction system within the game. Huh. Right. This reminds me too much of Eve. This terrifies me. I remember going through Gate and Eve. It's like, there might be a gate camp. Apparently this is... But pretty much every system is, in fact, gate camped. Yes, indeed. These guys got gate camped in Eve. I can tell you that for a fact. Now it's opened up a bunch of different missions. We have a level 5 blockade. Intriguing. Escort missions. I do hate escort missions. So we should definitely give it a try. Neptune Civilian Patrol. Mars security base. Okay, so we don't want to go there. That is apparently a bad idea. If you're looking to make a shady deal, check out the UTA is currently hostile and will attack you on site. Yeah, so we're not going anywhere near that. Mm, yeah, right. So we'll, we'll go and have a look over here, I guess. I said these, these would appear to be optional missions. So what have I got? Well, this is the big fat ship. But hang on, I, I thought I'd change that out. Had I, had I not successfully refit that? I guess I hadn't. Let's go and have another look at that then. Yeah, because I wanted to change that out and refit it for the boomerang. And then change this out for one of these things. Give it the good pulse cannons. Thank you very much. There we go. And actually, you know, I really should refit that with mining lasers. Like, oh, I would like to mine. I'm going to equip it with pulse cannons. You do not mine with pulse cannons. Goddamn fool, you can try. Maybe that's what they were doing over in Chile when the damn thing collapsed. We should mine with the puzzle. Oh dear. Maybe not. Obviously, it does take a little bit of time to get going right there. Now, I don't really want to go and deal with the escort just yet. Although, I don't think we really need to refit it right now anyway, do we? So, can I order all of my ships to go like escort? I assume that's escort. Are there any commands? Stance mode. AI mode, collect mode. Okay, defensive AI, passive AI, and aggressive. Okay, that makes perfect sense. What else is there? Toggle of all things, assist player, guard area. Hmm. I wonder if guard area will guard an actual ship or just a physical area in space. That isn't actually made clear there. Might be handy to know. And collect mode. Basically, pick up everything that you possibly can and indeed go and drop it off. Right, well, we can hope, we can hope that it decides to go in the right direction. I will fly the scout for the time being, I guess. We are escorting the ship to safety, which is unfortunately significantly quicker than my other ships, which is very problematic. There we go, now we're actually fighting multiple opponents. Always a cool thing. Oh no, I just remembered I have a pulse cannon and can't aim it. Where are my other guys? Well, the other fat guy is way behind, and this guy is just, oh, just goddamn. This is actually problematic. I might end up failing this mission on the direct result of my other ships being too slow to actually get there. Yes, things are falling off of the civilian ship. That is not good. 
That is a lot of dudes as well. That isn't good either, and I certainly do not have the firepower with this thing. I will block the beams with my ship. Oh, man. This this isn't good at all, is it? Oh, I should not have started this. Oh, dear. Yeah, th this guy is screwed. He shouldn't have asked me for help at all. Oh, man. Oh, man. Maybe my shields can help you. I will deflect the beams. God. Where are my other ships? They're all the way over there. Oh, God. And I thought, you know, this ship is actually fairly quick as well. I don't know why this one is taking so freaking long to get where it needs to go. Mission failure. I suck. Let's go and collect his cargo. There we go. Cool, I can reverse engineer the pounder. Maybe if he dies four more times, I'll get a new ship. Not good. Not quite how it was supposed to be, was it? Oh, well, it's okay. I suppose I can collect their crew. I wonder if you get to do that again or whether it's actually done. Because that would be kind of cool if you have maybe one shot on a mission and... Failing it causes you severe problems with a faction. I don't have a problem with that. God, I wish I had a tractor beam on this thing. It would make picking this up so much easier. Tractor beams seem to activate automatically near cargo as well, by the way. Now, my ship is getting shot to pieces. I really think we need to get the hell out of here, actually. Yeah, I, I think we need to leave immediately. Mass retreat. Yes, I am running. There is no mission progress, trust me. Ah, oh, sod. Well, that's going to be expensive to replace. Mm. Okay. Well, well, well. That did not go so well, did it? I was asking for multiple combat, and it gave it to me, just in a very malicious and spiteful manner. It's like, haha, you think this is easy? No, no, it's not. Well. To rebuild this, I think. Again, that ship is so freaking slow. Oh, yeah, I think we failed. I think we failed. Cool. I'm actually all right with that. I'm cool for one-shot missions. Like, let's go retry this. No, that doesn't make any sense. Sweet. Right, now, I've been told something about this. What's going on with this blockade, exactly? Let's go deploy and find out exactly what's going on. Warp inhibitors. We'll need to wipe out every last one of them. Expect similar blockades at every warp gate. Right, okay. So it looks like we're doing a bit of fighting, folks. Yes, indeed we are. Now, my boomerang only has these beam emitters, so it's, it's not that great, but it seems to be able to take a pounding more to the point, which is fairly important. And of course, I do have my scout to back me up here. And my big fat ship that moves incredibly slowly. I'll grab one of those. Now, what's, what's going on with these warp inhibitors? We're supposed to destroy these things, huh? I heard something about warp inhibitors. I don't see any warp inhibitors. Maybe we just need to kill these guys first, though. There we go. He's almost dead. My shields can indeed... Oh, that was the blockade. Right, okay. Very cool. I'm reverse engineering the gimp. Which I'm sure is some kind of fetish magazine. Right. Star map. Sounds like an old plan. Let's have a look at what we have. I'm sure it is. More dangerous a star, the worse it will be. Right. So, like I said, all of this is locked with the exception of this one. This is quite the extensive game by the looks of it. Whoop, and the mothership. Nice blinding effect on that one. Alright. Hmm. Intriguing. Stuff. Storyline. Again, voice acting would be nice. You need a voice actor? Well, you know where to come. I sure hope you're paying attention. There will could be, be a space anger. pirate. Hmm. Interact with colonies and wreak havoc. Sounds like fun. We'll have a quick look at this. I, I say, I think we'll, you know, we'll come to a conclusion on this fairly shortly. What I can do is I can have a look at the system map and see exactly what's available. So... Oh, that's a science station. Why are the civilians currently hostile to me? That blows. What the hell is this? Civ Patrol versus UAE. Ooh, a light conflict. Intriguing, and that actually expires in a certain amount of time. So much cool stuff to do. Huh. Okay. Well, let's go and check out this conflict. I want to know exactly what's going on here. Go deploy. Right. So, who am I going to help out? I assume you can either help out the civilians or the UTA, I would think. Or kill all of them. Well, we'll help out the civilians, shall we? Or at least we'll try to, anyway. 
Sounds like a plan. I don't even know if my AI ships are actually attacking the right guys. I cannot tell. Well, there you go. That's because I'm shooting the crap out of your dudes. You need to drop do you know you need to drop me stuff, man. Seriously, and I might stop shooting your dudes. As it turns out, it looks like we're actually also shooting at civilians, which probably isn't helping. That's kind of neat, though, isn't it? It's kind of neat. This can even happen. Right, folks. So, I'm going to do a conclusion on this. And I say we've been playing this for quite some time. There is a lot more to play, and I may come back to it at some point in the future. So, obviously, I haven't really seen the sort of zombies element that's going on. Uh, but I've had a little bit of experience of the meta campaign of it. I think this has got such a huge amount of promise to it. I really do. It's very cool to see that they've managed to take quite a lot of what could be fairly complex elements and make a very simple UI in order to incorporate those into the game. It does remind me a little bit of, I believe, Starscape, but it does seem significantly more advanced than that, which is good because I did like Starscape, but it was quite limited at the time and it is showing its age now. Overall, I'm very impressed, honestly, I really am. And this is going to be worth looking at. But bear in mind that this game is nowhere near release yet. The copy, in fact, going to Steam, the pre-authorization thing they have to send it to even get on Steam isn't even to them yet. So, like I said, this is pre-alpha footage, so everything you've seen here is subject to change. But I'm really impressed with what MinMax seem to have come up with right here, and this is definitely one to keep an eye out on. So go check out the website. It is in the description below this video, and I will bring you some more coverage at some point in the future. My name's been Total Biscuit, and that was a look at Space Pirates and Zombies. I'll see you next time.